Hello ladies and gents, welcome back to another Pro Evolution Soccer 2020 video with your host Spoonie Pizzas. Today we are looking at some PC mods, so, and it's the release of the Evo patch. Now PTE and Evo Web have uh, teamed up to create a, a super patch, and they've uh, done a great job from what I've seen so far. So, I'm going to go through the features and then I'll let you read the FAQs, the frequently asked questions. So, leagues and cups updated with real logos and names, updated team data and licensed, coach, licensed coaches for the Premier League, updated team data and licensed coaches for La Liga, authentic Premier League with real FTEX kits fonts, including special characters, authentic La Liga with the uh, kits and fonts and special characters, special character names have been added to for Pro League and La Liga players via the player.bin license Brescia Calcio and Borussia Dortmund added full Bundesliga, full Bundesliga in a future update 19 to 20 or 2019 to 20 mini faces for all players of the Pro League La Liga and BVB over a thousand remade mini faces so if we just take a look at that you can see that Got all the mini faces in it really does look really good what they've actually done so without further ado this is what we're going to be doing today so how to install and i'm going to take you through that and there's some frequently asked questions here i'm not going to run through them but i'll let you pause the video and then you can read them at your own leisure just before we continue i just want to give a massive thank you to these guys here who made this patch possible success fabregas hawk motto 10 and Lemania who can all be found on Twitter under these uh, handles. And I'm pretty sure I speak on behalf of everyone on the uh, on the PC and look forward to uh, future releases from yourselves. So thank you very much. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is head on to over to Evo Web. So just type in to Google Evo Web, click on the website, and then scroll down to the editing forum. Click on that link, then go to PES 2020. Then in here, you're going to see this link here, Evo Web Patch 1.0. Okay, so where it says how to install, uh, there's a link here for the cider. You need to click on this link here and then just scroll down a little bit and then you'll see two downloads, one for the full game, one for the demo. Obviously, you need the full game. So click on that link there and that will begin to download. If you then just click on the show in folder, that should take you to the downloads folder. And then if you just right click on the file and go extract here. Now if we go back to the original Evo web page, you'll see this all in one version 1.0 download. Just click on that link. Then just click on the green download button. And that will start to download the all in one. Just going to give that a few seconds to download. Okay, so once it's downloaded, you can see it there in the bottom left hand corner. Just click on the show in folder and right mouse click and extract here. Once it's finished extracting, you just need to double click on the Evil Web patch, right mouse click on live PK folder and copy that. Go back to your downloads and paste it into your cider folder once that's finished we just need to open the cider.ini file in here then we just need to copy this information here the cpks from here which i'll have in the description of this video copy those and just paste it into your cider.ini file that we've just opened and for consistency i just like to put them um actually just above just in here so just paste them in and then click on file and click save and you can close the cider.ini file 
Now you want to navigate to your downloads folder and go to the Evo web patch and copy this edit file and then go to documents, Konami, PES 2020. Then you need to just click on this number. Your number will probably be different to mine and then double click on the save button. Then right mouse click and click paste and overwrite the file. Now you just want to go back to your eFootball PES 2020 folder, go into WEPES and delete any folders in here because that could be your um that could be your previous option file. Okay, now navigate back to your downloads folder, go into your CIDR and run the CIDR.exe before launching the game. Now if you go ahead and launch your version of PES. Okay, so once you've booted up PES, just go to local match, select your controller. Now where it says live update in progress, we want to turn this off. Otherwise the teams will be revert to default. So just right mouse, uh, right click your analog stick down and go to live update off. And here we go. So just take a look at Chelsea. You can sort of see, you know, the leagues that they said were in there. So there we are, ladies and gents. I hope this tutorial helps you. Um, if you've got any problems, um, you can ask in the comments below. I'll try to help you as best as I can. But if you follow this tutorial step by step, you shouldn't go wrong and you shouldn't have any problems. You've either probably forgot to copy the CPKs or perhaps you've even forgot to launch the CIDR. Other than that, hopefully uh, that's that's been useful. And uh, again, thank you very much for the Evo Web and the PTE teams coming together to create a, an awesome patch. And future updates are going to be really easy um, to install and I'll be bringing you tutorials on how to do that as well. Thank you once and all for joining me and I hope you have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Cheers guys. Bye bye.